I need to get rid of him before he gets rid of me. He was with us in the beginning as a friend. When we stopped hanging out with him, he started hating all of us. I think he wanted to shoot all of us. He went after everyone. Yeah, everyone we used to hang out with. Our whole group. He wanted to destroy all of us. An alleged theft of a gold chain among the close childhood friends quickly escalates in the suburb. The suspected shooter is said to have stolen a gold chain while staying at a friend's house. Later, the alleged shooter is assaulted by the popular rapper and banned from the area. Shortly thereafter, a young man is shot dead in the neighborhood. A month later, three people are shot again in the same neighborhood. People have had enough. People don't like seeing him all the time. He was too visible, too comfortable and all that. He just clung to people. Tried to stand next to someone. He just walked around like that. Tried to sit next to everything and everyone. He behaved completely normally. He thought everything was cool and all. But people have been mad at him and were still mad at him. Prosecutors have now brought charges against a 20-year-old man suspected of murder, attempted murder, and aggravated weapon offenses. A 21-year-old died as a result of the shooting, and two more were injured by gunfire. The suspected shooter and perpetrator were arrested about four hours after the shooting and have been in custody since. Initially, four more people were arrested, but they were later released and suspicions against them were dropped. All involved, victims and perpetrators, are from the Rags area in southern Stockholm and belong to the inner circle of the 23-year-old rapper Dizzy. They can be seen in several of his music videos, some of them armed and flashing weapons in these rap videos. Many in Dizzy's circle wear gold necklaces with the letters MBM, which stands for Motivated by Money. Dizzy gained media attention early in his career on December 8, 2019. The police were alerted by ambulance personnel at 1.26 on Sunday morning. A young woman was immediately taken to the hospital. In connection with Dizzy shooting a music video on an island in Stockholm, the woman was shot. Together with other young men, Dizzy stands in a sequence waving weapons. In another clip, two pistols are aimed at the camera while the men sit on a sofa. The then 18-year-old woman was hired as a filmmaker when one of the live firearms, used as a prop, was fired and hit her in the arm. The woman in the film crew, who was holding the camera, was shot at close range in the arm, and the police later determined that two live pistols had been used during the recording. Both men convicted for the incident were 18 years old, and one was sentenced to a total of one year and three months in prison for aggravated weapon offenses and causing serious bodily harm, while the other received one month in prison and probation. Fast forward a few years, Adnan has been living with Abe for some time, and a gold necklace goes missing. Adnan becomes a suspect and is accused of stealing it. March 17, 2023 at 3.34 p.m., a fight is filmed that takes place right behind Rags Centrum, near a boxing club. According to the police, Adnan, the now prosecuted young man, appears to be on the ground, then Abdu and another man are standing over him, and you can also see the rapper Dizzy on the far right of the frame. Dizzy shouts at Adnan in the video clip to leave and stand up, to which Adnan says something inaudible. Dizzy gestures towards Adnan, then grabs his clothes, shouts something else inaudible, and is about to pull him up from the ground when the video cuts off. Both Abdu and the other man seem passive but are close to Adnan. The video is sent from Dolt's Snapchat user to several people via Snapchat. Dolt is a close friend to Dizzy, Adnan, and the other men. He has appeared in several music videos with Dizzy. Around the same time, it is said that Adnan is banned from the neighborhood and his old circle of friends freezes him out. April 14, 2023 At 12.08 a.m., just after midnight on Friday night, the police were alerted to a shooting in Rags, a neighborhood in southern Stockholm. When the police arrived, they found a shot young man near a pedestrian tunnel in a residential area. The young man, 21 years old, had been shot multiple times, reportedly including in the head, and he died at the scene. On April 14th, approximately nine days after the kidnapping and attempted murder in Vega in Haninga, south of Stockholm, 21-year-old Abdu Sain is shot dead in rags south of Stockholm in a pedestrian tunnel. The investigation into the kidnapping and attempted murder reveals that Abdu was involved in the Vega kidnapping, an incident linked to the Kurdish Fox and the Foxtrot gang. 
His DNA was found in gloves and on a cigarette but in the apartment where the kidnapped person was held captive. No one has been charged yet for Abdu S. murder. Abdu is Abe's cousin. It was Abe who accused Adnan of stealing the gold chain from his home. In a later investigation, there are reports that Abdu had been closely involved with Adnan recently and had been pressing him. Retrieve the gold chain. Otherwise, I am going to hurt you. It took a toll on Adnan, I can imagine. He probably thought I had to get rid of him before he gets rid of me. There are suspicions in the investigation that Adnan was the one who shot his old friend. According to reports, another person was present when the 21-year-old was shot near the pedestrian tunnel, and he stated that Adnan was the shooter to his friends. May 17, 2023 Six young men are on the courtyard of a preschool, sitting by a couple of benches around 11 p.m. on Wednesday night in Ragsft. They are socializing when they notice a lone, dark-dressed man approaching them from a wooded area. His face was masked and he fires shots at the young men, then jumps over the fence and runs towards them. One victim was sitting on a plank, and when he was shot, he fell backward to the ground and remained there, unable to move. After jumping over the fence, the assailant pursued the others who were running across the schoolyard. It seemed like the assailant wanted to murder all of them. However, the police and crime scene investigation, considering the empty shell casings placement near the terrace, along with damage to the picnic bench, strongly supports that the shooter stood at the terrace's short side or on the terrace when at least one shot was fired at the picnic bench. The casing position strongly suggests that the shooter fired at least six shots in the preschool area. Between the preschool courtyard and the local grill place, the only open establishment at the time, there was approximately 110 meters. The young man is shot at while running from the armed man, and one of them is hit in the foot. Some of the fleeing men run into the grill, and two of them lock themselves in the bathroom. The shooter fires a shot from the sidewalk toward the grill, diagonally into the display window, and further into the wall of the premises. The rest is recounted by an eyewitness. At that time, two customers were inside the grill. Something was heard outside. Shortly after, two guys come in through the door, they basically jumped in. The witness mentioned that the guys were stressed and scared. They said something like, get down. They're shooting. The two guys run past and into the bathroom. After a short while, a tall guy comes in. The tall guy takes no more than two steps, goes down to the ground, and crawls along the floor toward where the witness was hiding. As the guy fell to the ground, crawled forward, and had trouble breathing. The tall guy crawls forward but says nothing, lying flat on his stomach with his arms outstretched over his head. Another guy with a gun comes inside and approaches the guy on the ground. The guy with the gun shoots the guy on the ground in the back three times. The shooter was determined and knew what he was doing. After the three shots was fired, the guy with the gun tries to reload but can't and leaves the scene, taking the pistol with him out of the grill. From the time the first two guys come in until the shooter leaves happened in a very short time. The guy who was shooting had covered his face with something dark. The guy was dressed in black from head to toe. The weapon was described as an older pistol because it made a lot of noise. The guy could handle the weapon. He seemed used to it and a pro. According to the eyewitness, when the police arrive less than a minute after the last shots were fired, it is determined that three people have been shot. One man was shot in one foot, in the right heel, and he had minor injuries. The 20-year-old, Dolt, on the preschool courtyard was hit with a shot just below the chest and the torso, with an exit wound on his back. He becomes seriously and permanently injured, paralyzed from the waist down. The 21-year-old inside the grill has died from his injuries. He has been shot at least six times, once in the back of the right shoulder, once on the upper side of the left shoulder, once in the right wrist, and then three times in the lower part of the back. A few hours later, at 4 a.m. on Thursday morning, the Stockholm Police SWAT team breaks down the door to an apartment in rags to arrest Adnan. Adnan is commanded to the floor, and he lies down. 20-year-old Adnan, the suspected shooter of his old friends, is charged with murder, attempted murder, and aggravated weapon offenses. Adnan has been identified as the shooter by witnesses, and there is DNA from him on shell casings or cartridges found at the crime scene. 
Adnan himself says that he has handled cartridges on different occasions and exchanged clothes with people before, but he is not a murderer. The charges involve one count of murder and nine counts of attempted murder. In addition to the friend group, several people were at the grill who also risked being hit by shots. In total, one person died, two more were shot and injured during the shooting, and the other victims were not hit by the shots. What do you think about the murders and the entire situation within this small neighborhood?